Hi my friends, today we start modeling the part number 26 from my collection of 100 parts. Let's go! As you can see, the part is a shaft with uh, grooves and uh, it has a cut here which is uh, along a line, not around a circle. And we have to take care with these grooves. We start as usual by creating a section of the part. A rectangle with the length of 200 and diameter 12. Diameter 200. Home. Convert this line to center line to place the diameter of 12. Then we look here where you can see 12 is the diameter also for the grooved section and uh, this is the same diameter with this and we have a clearance to 0, 0.9.25 a rectangle here with the edge aligned with this but this is already added yes when you start from a line in the sketch they are aligned by default very good this is 25 The clearance has width of 2 and this is 0 0.9. Now we split the superior line and we create here a constructed construction line we also see here two fillets with a radius 0 0.5 point 0.4 and the both part of this channel clearance fillet 0. 4 finish sketch revolve okay the ends of the part are chamfered with one by 45 this one one and this one okay then we create the groove 
home a sketch on this end of the part and then we take a look at the detail here as you can see there is a diameter of 11 where we measure the step between these two points 60 degrees 11 and the radius 0 0.1 we have our style and this matter this is the style uh, continued with placing these two on the same vertical and making these two sides equal now it is symmetrical next is the angle 60 the radius 0 0.1 we can move a little this point oh this is not tangent I missed this okay and now a circle of uh, 11 diameter we place two points on the circle and then we apply coincident between the points and the sides of the channel the distance is zero point five seven six zero point five seven six okay we continue with an arc to close this area in three points we convert all these lines as uh, construction and now this triangle is the only closed contour we have to apply extrude to cut on a length of uh, 25 minus 1 extrude cut 25 minus 1 okay how looks it looks very nice and now we apply a circular pattern for 30 grooves this is the future this is the axis and here we write 30 okay the grooves are made very nice next is the channel this channel with dimensions of uh, radius 2 this is the sign of uh, 
placing uh, the arc with the center on this line this is this dimension appears here and uh, 54 is the distance radius 2 let's go plane is xy circle with a radius of 2 project as construction this generator and then coincident the center with this generator dimension from the circle to the end is 54 finish sketch extrude both directions no dimensions okay okay now the holes this one is 45 this diameter of 4.8 hole this face 4.8 and 45 okay next one is uh, 4 millimeters and 113 same procedure oh but this is not centered I forgot to be to place it on the center now it is hole this face this center four and one hundred and thirteen okay Thirty. Other things are a hole of uh, two point five placed on the uh, round face of the shaft. Two point five fifty four from the channel. we have to place here uh, an axis we place a plane at the distance of uh, 54 plus 54 but not this direction so we have to put minus and minus okay the axis is at the intersection of the xy plane with this plane and the point on this face at the intersection of this axis now we can place the hole of 2.5 we show the point then the direction then the diameter 2.5 and then we don't apply a distance but we apply two to the plane not xy but the other one this plane 
yes, to have a hole be between the face and the center pl plane. Okay. All these are not necessary to remain visible. The other hole is simpler. Same procedure. 26 and the diameter of 2. 26. A plane at minus 26 minus 26 axis at the intersection of these two planes the axis is here you can see it a point on the face we know this procedure from a previous tutorial take a look the hole this point this line and two uh, the hole is uh, also limited by this plane to select surface this and now you see the hole same uh, visibility or non-visibility for that uh, elements that's all my friends we don't have any other thing to place on this uh, shaft so we we choose the material let's uh, try uh, stylus steel high strength low alloy steel polished and the axis is finished with all it has the data zero point one six kilograms one hundred and sixty grams that's all for today bye bye